Hello friends, welcome to Sensory Storytime. It is December, which means it's almost winter. Do you know what that means? It's almost time for snow. I love playing in the snow. Do you? What do you do when you go out and play in the snow? I like to make snow angels and snowmen. When my kids were little, they used to go out in the big piles and dig into them and make little forts to hide in and play in. Have you ever done that? Sometimes living in Illinois, we know it gets so cold that you can't even go outside to play in the snow. And that is so sad, isn't it? So today, I'm gonna show you how you can bring the snow inside and still play with some snow inside. Since we're gonna be playing with the snow inside, I don't need to bundle up anymore, which is really, really nice. We're gonna make our own snow. It is super easy. Of course, before you do any of this, make sure you have a grown-up's permission and you might need their help to get started a little bit. All you're gonna need for this project is a large bowl or a tray. I'm gonna use a tray today. Baking soda and water. That's all. I do have some vinegar that we're gonna be using for a special surprise later at the end, um, but it's not necessary to make the snow. So I'll just put it off to the side for now. Now, if you want your snow to really feel like snow, I would recommend the night before you wanna do this, put your baking soda in the freezer. And then the next day when you make it, it is gonna be so cold and it will be really, really awesome because it'll feel like you're actually playing with snow. If you don't have time to do that, that's fine. It will still be pretty awesome. Just make sure you use cold water as you're mixing it. Okay, so all you have to do is take your baking soda and dump it in your bowl or on your tray. I would recommend that you don't dump the entire thing out. It, takes a little bit to figure out the right amount of water and baking soda to get the right consistency. So you wanna make sure you have some left just in case. So now I have my baking soda in a nice pie like this. Another thing, you might wanna make sure you have some paper towels handy. This will get a little bit messy. It's not gonna ruin anything because it's just baking soda, but you might wanna have the paper towels to clean your hands. All right, so now that you have the baking soda, you're just gonna slowly pour some water in it. You don't wanna pour too much because um, then you're just gonna mix it up with your hands until it gets to be a really good consistency. Now mine is still really dry. So I think I'm gonna need to add more water. But if you can see, it's getting a little bit clumpy, a little bit more like snow. So I'm gonna add some more and mix it up. Sometimes as you're doing it, you might add a little bit too much water and it gets really runny. If that happens, just add some more baking soda to it. Look how crumbly it is. And it's just like snow, you can put it into a snowball. When it gets to be about the consistency that you want, it's time to play. You can do whatever you want with your baking soda snow. You can build a snowman. You can get some Legos and build a village. Um, you can get some cookie cutters and make some shapes out of it, wherever your imagination takes you. So I'm going to show you how awesome it is because we can, you can see I just made a little snowball. So I'm going to make another one. And put it on top. And one more. And here is a little snowman. How cute is that? 
The best thing about this snow is it's not going to melt on you and it's not going to freeze your hands. So what do you think? How do you think this snow feels? Do you think it feels cold or do you think it feels hot? It's definitely not hot unless you were to use hot water, but it's kind of cool to the touch, even though I just used regular water out of the faucet. If you put your baking soda in the freezer, it's definitely going to be really cold. Is it smooth or is it rough? What do you think? This is nice and smooth. Is it soft or do you think it's spiky? It's kind of soft. Yeah, you could, you're not going to hurt your fingers on this one. Does it have a smell? Do you think snow has a smell? Some people say it does. I don't think this has much of a smell. When you are all done playing with your baking soda snow, all you have to do is put it in a Ziploc bag and put it in the freezer for next time. Keep in mind that if you do that, that it is gonna freeze into a rock hard solid block. So you'll need to t give it some time to thaw out if you do that. You could just put it in the refrigerator and then that would cool it down. It wouldn't be quite as cold, but it would still be a nice cold experience. This isn't gonna last forever, maybe like a week or two. Make sure that you have your grown up check it out to make sure that there's nothing icky on it before you play with it again. When you are all done playing with it and you don't wanna save it anymore, I'm gonna show you a really fun thing that you can do with the vinegar to make a fun science experiment. Okay. All right, so now that's all done, I got some vinegar and poured it into a little teeny cup. Get ready to watch closely to see what happens when we drip some vinegar over our snow. Do you see it bubble up? Could you hear it fizz? Let's add some more. Now it's really, really wet. And this feels a lot different than the snow that we made. It also has a very strong smell of vinegar. Should we add some more? You can add as much vinegar as you want to make it nice and bubbly. And now it's really soupy and goopy. Thanks, Miss Jen, for sharing that fun activity with everyone. I think now I want to go home and make snow. I think that would be a fun activity to try with my son. I hope that all of you can try it at home too, because it is very easy, but yet lots and lots of fun. So now that Miss Jen showed us how to make snow, I thought it would be fun if we talked about some fun snow books that you can come and check out from the library. Do you ever wonder what snowmen do at night when you build a snowman outside and what happens to it? Well, check out this fun story, Snowman at Night by Carolyn Bonner. In this story, you get to find out all the adventures that snowmen have when you are sleeping. From playing in the snow to having a snowball fight and enjoying their time with their snow buddies. This fun book describes what winter looks like from snow falling to ponds freezing to children playing outside in the snow and all the layers of clothing they have to put on to be able to go outside. So check out this book, Winter is Here, by Kevin Hinkes. In this fun story titled Snow by Mania Stavik, animals share their experiences of how they know that winter is coming. From feeling sleepy and yawning because they know that it's time for their winter nap, or from seeing that their fur is changing colors, 
from brown to white. Or from other animals feeling the cold weather and flying south so they can keep warm. So check out this book and learn more about animals in the winter. Did you know that no two snowflakes are the same? It seems like the snow that falls from the sky, it all looks the same. But in reality, every snowflake that falls to the ground is different and special in its own way. So check out this book from the library called No Two Alike by Keith Baker. In this book, the author describes ways of how each item and each person is unique. Even though we might look the same or it might seem the same, we are all different and special. Thanks for watching, boys and girls. I hope that you enjoyed my book talk and the fun activity that Ms. Jen shared with you today. We all hope to see you soon at the library. Take care and stay warm. Bye-bye. <coughs>